here's another EG Media Group production. Create, connect, convert. This is the Small Business Monthly Expo podcast. The best source for business owners, from entrepreneurs to corporations. We're here to help your business grow throughout the Midwest and the nation. Now, here's your host, Sherry Farmer. We are out at the St. Charles Convention Center hoping to see you. We do the Small Business Expo twice every year, but if you don't catch us this time, there's always May 7th, and we hope to see you. We're gonna be talking to Anna Marie with ITF Group next, right after a word from our sponsors. You've made the monumental decision to sell your business. Maybe the sale is your retirement nest egg, or perhaps you're not ready to sell, but you need to raise more capital so you can scale. You now have the task of placing a non-emotional market value on the business you've built, the business to which you've likely devoted a good part of your life. How do you navigate which accepted valuation methodologies or combination of formulas to use? Your CPA may suggest one conventional approach, your banker, another. The truth is, there's nothing conventional about the valuation process. Every business and situation is unique. You deserve an experienced partner who has your best interest in mind a trusted resource to not only work with you to determine a valuation, but prepare you for the valuation process and all that it entails. That partner is Innovative Business Advisors. Learn more at InnovativeBA.com. We'd love to have a conversation with you about your business. That's InnovativeBA.com. Ready to explore St. Louis in a unique hassle-free way? How about on an innovative three-wheeled electric trike with Trike STL Guided Tours, a self-balancing and battery-assisted machine that's also low impact on your body and fun. Visit trikestl.com or call 314-4-TRIKKE. Hi, I'm Julia with Small Business Monthly St. Louis. We'd like to invite you to join us for the St. Louis Business Expo and Business Growth Conference at the St. Charles Convention Center. Not only is this the largest business-to-business expo in the Midwest, but business owners and key employees can gain months' worth of valuable contacts and clients in just a few hours. And the best part is, it's all free. To register, visit stlexpo.com or call us at 314-569-0076. Thanks, and I'll see you at the St. Louis Business Expo and Business Growth Conference. Join us at the St. Charles Convention Center for the next Small Business Monthly Expo, May 7th, 2024. And now we've got Anna Marie with us. Very Hi, excited to talk to you nice about to your you. business. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> uh, you're with ITF Group Forward Now. So what all do you do? So we're an asset-based 3PL. So what that means is we're a transportation company okay. first, trucking and transportation. We also are a local company here in Hazelwood, Missouri, just off of Missouri Bottom Road. Road. Okay. We have uh, two warehouses with over 500,000 square feet of warehouse space. So we have just entered into the logistics and fulfillment game. So we're really here to kind of do some local networking. We're very involved in St. Louis as much as possible. We really want to support other St. Louis businesses as well and give back as much as we can to our local community. What we do that sets us apart from other local trucking companies is we try to focus on businesses of all sizes. So obviously like large companies need full size truckload shipments. Mm -hmm. But we're also interested in that small business owner. Somebody that maybe has a Wix or a Shopify account and sells maybe some of their drop shipping or maybe has a product that they have in their garage and is overflowing their garage or overflowing their basement and they're looking to step into a warehouse and have a team of fulfillment people picking orders for them and shipping them out to all of their customers wherever their customer base is. So we're interested in you know, just by the pallet. We can sell you a small pallet in our warehouse. Okay. You know, if you just need a little teeny, tiny space, we can sell you a big whole aisle of warehouse space, or we can just move your goods across the country if that's what you're interested in also. And how many areas do you have? So right now, we just have our office uh, located in Hazelwood, Missouri. Mm-hmm. We have two buildings two there. Buildings, two okay. buildings. So two warehouses. And how big are they? And like, how much stuff can you fit in there? So one is about 300,000 square feet, and I actually work in that warehouse. Okay. And um, it's pretty big. We actually can also fit full-size trucks and trailers in our warehouse. So we service all of our trucks and trailers in-house as well. Any trailer that maybe bumps a building and needs a repair, we can service that in our shop also. So it's pretty big. You can drive a full-size semi-truck inside. And then our other warehouse is a little smaller, 200,000 square feet, but it's right next door. Now, is this something that you may help a business seasonally? 
Yes, definitely. Uh, Spirit Halloween is one of our customers. So we start getting, you know, the local Halloween stuff, like in the summertime. So we okay. get all excited. Like, oh, hey, yeah. Halloween you can do, do you peek in there, yep. see everything first. But by bit. September, they're all gone. <laughs> so yeah. they are a seasonal client. Okay. And then we get them every year and we reserve a certain amount of warehouse space for them as they bring their product in and then ship to their distribution. Yeah, because I imagine this time of year you have a lot of business yes. because, I mean, with the Christmas holiday mm-hmm. coming up. And yeah. you help folks keep it there until it's needed. Yes, exactly. Okay. And then we also do long-term storage as well. Okay. So um, we have a client now that had, a, I, guess, I think their, one of their warehouses had a, a problem. And so we just took, we went ahead and moved it into our warehouse until they're ready to go back to, I think, their own or something like that. So, yeah. Well, we're happy to have you out here today. And why did you decide to become a vendor here? Uh, again, we want to be as involved as involved as involved as possible with St. Louis. Um, our, we're based here. We want to try to get as much St. Louis business as possible. I mean, we're not, we'll take business from anywhere, right? <laughs> yeah. But we yeah. really like to give back to the community and mm-hmm. be part of St. Louis as much as possible. So you are in it, yes. Anne-Marie. <laughs> and I'm born and raised here, so I'm happy to be part of it. <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> we can't get away, can we? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you get the trucks to do it in. Definitely. <laughs> All right, well, we thank you so much. Thank and how you. can folks get in touch with you? You can visit our website at itfgroup.com. All right, well, thank you so awesome. much. Awesome, thank you. When the podcast returns, Sherry will be speaking with the president of St. Louis Small Business Monthly, Ron Aimlin, right after this. This segment is brought to you by E4E, experts for entrepreneurs. Operating a business is complex and time consuming. Being successful requires expertise in many different functions. We have firsthand knowledge working with entrepreneurs and family businesses in the Experts for Entrepreneurs partner community. Go to e4ecommunity.com for more information and don't fly alone. As a CEO, spreadsheets come with the territory, but I can't escape asking myself these questions. In what areas should I devote more focus and develop more understanding so I can properly interpret my company's real financial health? How do I take that data and use it to create and implement a plan to increase profits and discover the company's true financial potential. Enter CEO to CEO. We believe these are the types of questions a good CEO or business owner should be asking. We've helped hundreds of CEOs and leaders understand the true cash flow, bankability, and actionable real-time management opportunities in their respective companies. We have a knack for making the complicated easy and to many, fun to understand. We have virtual sessions online, and we also offer one-to-one CEO coaching. CEO to CEO exists to help businesses and business leaders realize their full potential. Reach out today at ceo2ceo.coach. CEO, the number two, ceo.coach. That's ceo2ceo.coach. You want to be an exhibitor at our next business expo and business growth conference. Not only is this the largest business to business expo in the Midwest, business owners and key employees can gain months worth of clients and contacts in just a few hours. With over 20 seminars and keynote speakers, This is a can't-miss event for hundreds of business owners. Types of industries that exhibit. Health insurance. Design services. Credit bureaus. Credit cards. Employee incentives. Business coaches. Just to name a few. If you'd like more information on how you can be an exhibitor at the next Business Expo and Business Growth Conference, go to stlouisbusinessexpo.com. One day. A lifetime of change. And we've got creator Ron with us, Small Business Monthly. How long, Ron, have you been doing this? I've been doing this for too many years to mention, <laughs> actually. Um, I actually bought the business about 16 years ago, but I've been here over 20. So, That's awesome, uh, it's awesome. It's been a great, great wild ride. Yeah, and you just keep growing. And I mean, you've got the expo. How long has the expo been going on? Boy, the expo is in about its 20th year. Um, and we've, we've, we started out really small in a hotel ballroom with mm-hmm. a few tables. And we've, we've now grown into this large uh, expo hall at the St. Charles Convention Center. And speaking of growth, that's what it's all about. So for vendors, how can they grow by being a part of the event? Well, this is a great spot to share your products and services with with businesses that you can really help. And then that's that's why we do this show. So we can get, uh, you know, we have businesses come through here that that are looking for products and services that will help grow their companies. Mm -hmm. And then we have vendors here that have the services and products to to help those businesses scale their businesses and grow. Mm -hmm. You're helping everybody meet up. And speaking of meetups, you've got a networking event that happens at the expo. Yeah, yeah. 
said, we have the largest speed networking event in the state of Missouri. We, we bring all these folks in and they're able to meet a ton of people in one day under one roof. And it's mm -hmm. fantastic. One stop shop. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Saves a lot of time. You're able to meet a lot of people and and then share your, your products and services. And it's wonderful that you you have this event for folks to come to and it's free. So the smallest business owner, the person who's thinking about creating a business, this is great for them. Yeah, especially in this day and age when so many people are working at home remotely and they're not making connections. I mean, we, we've had a vendor that earned a million dollar contract at this show just from meeting people face to face. And we've had others who have found someone to uh, to partner with them in their business he, right here at, at the show. We've had others who found a, a business to purchase at this show. So, you know, the fact that people get together and they talk and they start to form relationships mm -hmm. is really what successful business is all about. You're like the godfather of business hookups. I, <laughs> I love it. I feel like Chuck Woolery, right? There We're you go. We're bringing people together. <laughs> Back in two and two, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no, but that is that is awesome that you are able to do that. And I mean, do you keep track over the years at the businesses that you have have helped that you know who've met here. Oh, definitely, and they come back. And, uh -huh. and I mean, there are people who've sold their business, who used to be here, sold their businesses, and they're, they've come back and they walk around the show and they meet people. Mm -hmm. um, we had two of them at our, our luncheon today that, that just came back just to, to feel the vibe again, you mm -hmm. know, of meeting other people and, and, and helping them grow their companies. Yeah, well, we've even heard stories about retirement. They sell their business, oh, but they're not done yet. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, it's a bug. You know, entrepreneurship is, is something that uh, is very difficult but it's a lot of fun and once you get the bug I mean you you want to keep it going and keep it going and speaking of keeping it going you have some folks that that come here and they speak and they share their knowledge their business knowledge with others yeah we will we'll have several speakers at every show and we usually have three or four stages going at one time mm -hmm. and they'll talk about everything from how to market your business better how to sell your business better how to improve your sales how to find the right employees any kind of issue or challenge that business owners have we'll have an expert here that'll address that challenge and and hopefully send these folks home with things they can do right away things they can implement right away. Mm -hmm. And how do you go about reaching out to the businesses? and bringing them on board to the event. Well, a lot of them are our readers from our mm -hmm. magazine. Um, many of them we know that. over the years. <laughs> and, and it's a lot of word of mouth. I mean, mm -hmm. people, they, they come through this show, they, they talk to other business owners who've been affected by this show, who've, who've gained business from the show, and then they say, we gotta be here too. And how can folks pick up Small Business Monthly? You can just- I see uh, it just about everywhere. Sure, <laughs> yeah, you can go online, sbmon.com, and you can get a copy there, or you can uh, subscribe. And you're also getting folks ready now. I mean, I know the day isn't over just yet, but you do this twice a year. Yeah, May 7th, 2024 is our next show. Um, okay. It's gonna be a great event, uh, just like this one. We're gonna have uh, a big luncheon where we're gonna honor the uh, top 100 influencers in business. So you'll wanna be there and meet those folks. Uh, those are the individuals that are really helping these uh, uh, small and mid-sized businesses grow. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're gonna have them here all under one roof. And uh, it's a great way to meet them. Yeah, so folks can get that on their calendar right now to come out. <laughs> It'll be here before you know it. Oh, we know? It does. It goes by real fast. It does. And what do you see as far as a kind of a trend in businesses moving forward in today's world? Well, I think that uh, technology is going to play a big role. Uh, AI is going to play a big yeah. role in, in businesses. And so businesses are trying to figure out, you know, how that's going to work within what they do. Um, and that changes uh, daily. So mm -hmm. I think uh, you know, technology is definitely going to play a role. I think um, especially this day and age with this economy, it's finances, you know, mm -hmm. how well do you know your margins and and uh, how well do you watch your, your numbers because that's that's going to be critical to how you succeed. And lastly, if, 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 I, if I put my top three down, the last thing is going to be culture and, and really keeping employees because it's a tight labor market and keeping your employees is something that's really important. So so you, you've got to build a culture where people want to stay with you mm -hmm. um, as opposed to maybe 30, 25, 30 years ago where you didn't have to do that you yeah. know people stayed put they did yeah. yeah now they're always moving around they are well the the, the if, for folks under 35 they they usually stay 18 months or less on a job so you mm -hmm. think about that I mean it took me 18 months just to know where the bathroom was right <laughs> I mean no but you, you, you think about that and and it's you have to be somewhere for a long time to get really good at something. yes and so uh, uh, you need to keep those employees around definitely and folks can find out more about all that you do in your magazine 
and uh, they can also look forward to the spring to see you. We'll be here, and we look forward to seeing everybody out here uh, May 7th, 2024. All right. Thank you so much, Ron. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Follow for more at sbmon.com. Here's another EG Media Group production. Create, connect, convert.